This morning, 826, an innovative writing program co-founded by one of the nation's most celebrated authors, molding the next generation of storytellers. 826 Valencia was formed in San Francisco by Dave Eggers and Nineveh Caligari. It's now expanded into nine chapters around the country, serving more than 350,000 students each year. The program focuses on making sure as many students as possible get one-on-one -on -one attention and that they see their names and stories in print and have some fun along the way. Walk into 826 Valencia Street in San Francisco and you'll find what's believed to be the only store in the world entirely dedicated to selling pirate supplies. Is that a trap door? But get beyond that and you soon realize the point of this place is not to hawk fake gold coins. It is to deliver very real dreams. I wanted the place to be weird. We wanted it to be kind of homey and strange and totally unexpected and have a sense of humor because kids are so funny. They're so strange and funny. And we so rarely embrace that and reflect it back to them. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. The weird storefronts have become a staple at 826 writing centers around the world from secret agents in Chicago. Okay, are you guys ready to go yeah. through the secret passageway? Yeah. Yeah. To superheroes in Brooklyn, a time travel mart in Los Angeles, and a woodland creature outfitter store at their newest location in San Francisco. When you create a place that is profoundly beautiful and wonderful and surprising, and young people walk through that space, it's a transformative experience for them, and it sends them the message, something's going to be different here. Over the past 20 years, 826 has become the largest youth writing center in the world. If you could talk to your ancestor, what would you ask them? Matching up volunteer tutors. I would ask them what were they eating in the old times. Oh, really? With students in under-resourced communities, all free of charge. Founded by Dave Eggers and Neneve Caligari, the current director is Bida Nazarian, a former school principal. I think that's what 826 does so well, is it says students' voices matter. Here's the support you need as a teacher, as a young person in our system, and then let's publish you. Egger's first major success in the publishing world was the memoir, A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius. The book turned him into a literary superstar. And he soon discovered he knew lots of others who were looking for ways to contribute to their communities. Caligari was a teacher working in a school overwhelmed with too many students. I had 146 students, and any one given time, I never had enough time to give them the attention I thought they deserved. And I just knew that teachers out there would be super thirsty for this service, and, and that was true. Jimmy and Latifa were two of the students there when we visited. Hi, person reading this. I'll be telling you in my own words how I see the future. They shared some of their own published works. On a lonely land, I care for my grandma, sis, mom, grandpa, and myself because they're my family. Do you think it's cool to see your name in print? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get a, it's a nice feeling. It's kind of a flex. It's a, it's a flex. Yeah. It very much is a flex, yeah. There's a confidence and a calm that comes over a published young author because they feel like, I got it right. I put it on paper. It's in this book. That's my truth. It's there permanently. Osvaldo Marquez Gomez is a former student. He's been published 11 times. What did 826 do that the schools couldn't? It was that one-on-one -on -one attention. I had a hard time asking for help. So once a tutor is visual, like, visually sitting there and like, what's going on? Like, what are you processing? What questions do you have? So like that proactive like one-on-one -on -one attention is, I feel like that goes a long way. It's pretty wild to think, like, you see the student 15, 20 years ago, and then... He's what? my boss now. Yeah. He's your boss. Osvaldo. Yeah, on the board. he sits on the board of directors. Osvaldo now helps oversee a writing program at a time when there were 2,500 documented cases of books being banned last year, an all-time high. Eggers recently joined that list. I was really surprised. I had to, my book, The Circle, was banned in a school district in Rapid City, South Dakota. 
I had to look back at the book to figure out what there was. And that, I don't remember anything in there that would have been objectionable. But I was there a couple weeks ago and um, talking to teachers and talking to students. And we had amazing sessions. And the teachers are incredibly resilient. They're finding ways around it. Does anyone know what hyperbole means? A26 is not meant to replace the education system, but supplement it in ways most schools can't. And it's about the people who are willing to give their time to help these kids find a voice and in the process, maybe rediscover their own. If you can hear my voice in your hoorah, hoorah. What the 826 tutors taught me and what Dave has brought to the world is this huge reminder that learning is also joyful. Mm. Um, and I think that public school teachers are doing their best in, in difficult circumstances, and I do think when there's so much stress and strain on that system that it is, it is difficult to remember that, that learning can be joyful and that it can be driven by love and kindness. Mm. What a great reminder oh, to try yeah. to find, despite all the stresses and everything else, joy yeah. in these places. And just no matter what these, these people have accomplished here, Dave, you know, whatever, it, it's only important if they can give back instead of taking that and giving it back and passing it on to the next generation. That's a wonderful thing. It is. Mm. And so is this. It's a shipwreck <laughs> that was underwater for more than 500 years, so it's taken kind of time to dry out. Two decades after its discovery, this remarkable wreck is ready for its close-up. That's next on CBS Saturday Morning. Welcome back. And what is really cool, Jeff, about this? I love the storefronts oh, yeah, and all of it. Because I'm looking behind you. So this oh, it's is gorgeous. The, yeah, that alone the, this sparks. This is the Woodland Creature Outfitter store. I mean, but that alone sparks so much creativity yeah. Yeah. in a child. And anyone, really. So my question is, how do kids sign up for this? Or is it, you know, it's... Uh, they have limited resources mm -hmm. for, for this in terms of availability. So... How do we? How I do think we if parents forward? are interested for their kids, you go to the website, A26's website, and check it out. See if it's in the area. You know, they're not in every city in the country, um, but they are international now as well. There are international locations. But I asked them. I said, what, you know, what's your goal for the next 20 in 20 years from now? So 40 years in, yeah. mm -hmm. they said we would love to be able to provide services to every single under-resourced child in mm -hmm. this country. That is wonderful. Which, which it is wonderful, and it's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a massive goal. Yeah, it's also um, ambitious. But. And it is, you know, with public schools, it is a huge problem yeah. across the country. If you talk to anybody who, public schools that are in well-taxed areas versus not well, even in well-taxed areas, the numbers are high of classroom size, but at least the funding is there. Yeah. And in what, those other areas, well, it's it's awful. What we see, see though is that these programs work. Right. They make a oh. difference. And these kids can, can thrive, thrive yeah. and thrive. And don't we want our children to do that? You open them up.